Benji, okay, you are going to come right here. Welcome to the Freddie and Alyssa show starring Freddie Smith, Alyssa Tabbitt, and Benjamin, Benjamin Tabbitt, known as Benji. Yeah. How are you, Benj? You doing well? I think he's been better. I think he has. Deep breath. Yeah, he's taking deep breaths, and we're going to go take him out and get him some fresh air. We stayed inside now for probably like 10 days, but I think we're going to sneak out, stay away from people. He's losing his mind. Yeah, he needs some, some Just fresh like air. Honey. Yeah. <laughs> It'll do us all some good. Um, but welcome, everyone, to the Freddie and Alyssa show. We appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we have a lot of fun things on this YouTube channel. If you're new, if you're just discovering us, we love hearing all your comments. A lot of people are just finding us now. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate you so much and that you're enjoying the content. And we've been posting for a couple years, a uh -huh. um, bunch of videos, one-off videos, uh, podcasts. So take wow. a little stroll <laughs> around our page. I think we'll, there's a lot of content here that can uh, keep you occupied and entertained and, uh, you know, give you some inspiration, some education, some laughs maybe. Lots of laughs. Laughs, you know. It'll be good. We have a we have a really good uh, podcast today. We um, we had happy hour with Sean Christian and Ari Zucker. So much fun. And just had a blast. Oh my gosh! You can tell as the interview goes because we actually already uh, filmed it. We're doing the opening after, but um, like as we got a little buzzed, like we just all got loose. So yeah. like it just it's like the coolest. Uh, they're just such great people, and I, I think you all are going to enjoy this interview. Um, so thanks for stopping by. We'll we'll cue that up here in just one second, but. Uh, uh, do you, I'm going to kick it to you for the sponsor yes. today. Yes. Yeah, today's episode is brought to you by Pandia Health. Skip the trip to the pharmacy and get your birth control do, do delivered. Delivered. Is that something new? <laughs> is that like the drone? No. no. There's no drone. You get it delivered. Okay. Formally um, delivered. <laughs> from delivered. Okay. So you want to get your birth control delivered uh -huh. to your oh, house okay. yeah, because yeah. right now during quarantine, we should be staying home. And that is why I'm so excited for Pandia Health. You can skip that trip to the pharmacy, have everything delivered right to your house. And what's really cool is they'll also like put in little goodies. So if you want some chocolate, some high chews, some tea, they throw that in for free. And if you currently have a prescription from your doctor and insurance, delivery is free. But if you don't, don't stress, it's all good. You can utilize their network of doctors and it's only $29 a year. So if this sounds like it's up your alley, use Alyssa and Freddie, the code at checkout for $5 off. Again, Alyssa and Freddie for $5 off at pandiahealth.com. Again, Pandia Health, you guys have been so wonderful. Thank you for being friends of the podcast. We appreciate you so much and stay home guys. Get your birth control delivered. Not do livered. <laughs> Not do livered. Though I now with technology speeding up, it could be I think do livering is going to be happening soon uh, with it some like drones thing. dropping things off at the door. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, so let's let's hop into it because I know we had a lengthy convo with them, yes. and I, I know people are excited to to uh, to listen and to watch. So without further ado, Sean Christian and Ari Zucker. Benji, say hab hello. Oh, no. I think this is a dog. I got my lab. I got it's oh, definitely no. like. I think I just have one question. What's happening? What's up? What's happening? <laughs> what what room are you in? This is Studio B in the house. Yes, in our studio. We're one of our guest rooms. We turn into a little it's a makeshift like, studio. Makeshift fake Smart. studio. It looks yeah. Good. It's a mishmash of bits and pieces. Yeah, so we um, can do our our um our cat our auditions on one wall. And then you know. Something stuff like that we do together and then our little uh old old man old people chairs yeah <laughs> this is great well cheers, cheers guys we've waited yeah. to have our first sip until uh we were online here oh, you're drinking cheers. water water to cranberry water juice yum, <laughs> yum. how are you guys what's going on good we're just hustling man we're just being our little creative selves that's Love really that. what we do like 25 i swear we're busier now than we were when life is going on and the studios are open I did tell Izzy the other morning, though, I said, oh, if only I could get a paycheck for this. She goes, for what? I'm like, for nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for absolutely nothing. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, nothing. all the online stuff we're doing and all the, all the pitching and all the, the meetings, it's all leading to that, though, you know? I, I, yeah. I think, like, in our case, all four of us, you know, having all these projects, it's allowing us to be productive. 
You know, I it feel is, like people who are hit the hardest are probably like the service industry, people who do makeup or cut hair, they can't yeah. do that virtually. So at least we can still be as productive as we can during this time. Yeah. yeah. And you can see how creative people are being. I mean, certainly in our profession, I mean, yeah, if you're a hands-on person and you need to hold lights and move, you know, technical cameras, uh, it's a little harder. But um, for us and people who like love to create and imagine and do their thing, oh, there goes my doggy. Um, it's, it, people are finding unique ways to communicate and get their message out. Are the kids with you? Are the kids with you? Uh, Izzy is Buzzing here in her ones. room. I know. <laughs> um, and she just, oh my God, we have so many animals. We, uh, we uh, I'm not oh allowed enough. They're so cute. <laughs> we, got these, we have four dogs now and we just adopted three bunnies. <gasps> oh, wow. Two guinea pigs and, and a fish. One fish. What? And By Christmas, we'll be able to do that whole song, like right down to one yes. fish. And a beta fish in a purple tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's you guys. <laughs> and you're still in, in the house that we've been to, right? Right down the street. It's the same house. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nice. Same house. Same hacienda. But the kids are busy. They're doing their own thing too, keeping themselves creative and Cameron making music. He's making his music. I think he's like nothing's really changed, man. I'm in my room. I'm making music. <laughs> That's <laughs> what, said, crazy, like, what are yeah. we doing different? And then how old yeah. is he? Uh, 10 going on 27. Oh, good, good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. She's in mama mode with all oh, the animals. Oh, my gosh. And she, it actually is good for her, I think, because now she, because they don't really have a routine like they do with school, but she's right. created her own routine for herself to get up with the bunnies, take care of the bunnies, feed the bunnies, clean the cage, to prep for the day, get the bunnies out for a, a little playpen time, and and then, you know, of course, Ari's in there, too, and everybody, everybody comes in there and gathers around the bunnies. Oh, they're cute. Yeah, oh, Easter will be it. right, we'll be right on point, man. Yeah. I literally have, a, well, I don't. She has a bunny that look, is the perfect uh, Easter commercial bunny. She's, like, all white, and she's only five months old, and, um, oh, my God, it's so cute. It's, I'm obsessed. Mom, she's like, Mom, get out of my room. Do you oh. let them roam? Do they roam around the house or you have them all in the cage? No, they have their mm. cute. So Izzy, of course, God love TikTok. Uh, Izzy <laughs> has been watching this girl on TikTok, Anora, you know, shout out to Anora, who has also three bunnies, two guinea pigs, two gerbils, some parrots. And she walks through all her, like on a daily basis, how to care for each, you know, set of animals that she has. And Izzy has been watching her and says, mom, I need to say, I need this and I need to use fleece. And the goal was, since we got these bunnies and the guinea pigs and everything, was not to buy anything. So we used our resources around the house and used boxes and all sorts of stuff to, um, for the bunnies uh, and, Clothes we were going to give to Goodwill, but we can't really do anything with them right now. So she used them as like blankets. We cut them, we cut them and made them into um, sort of little flat rags or whatever. And hay feeders. Yeah, a a hay feeder. Oh out. yeah, she took a t-shirt. Uh, she made a hay yeah. feeder out of it. So she puts hay in it for one of the bunnies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's it's hilarious. But uh, we took old carpet we had in the attic yeah. and we added it for padding so they can run on that and poop on that. No, we're, yeah. making a bunny, we're making a bunny pen. pen. Bunny pen. Bunny pen. Oh, you're making the bunny. Oh, I mean, we're I'm, making. Suddenly, the bunny I'm pen. making this by myself now, but oh. we're we'll making bunny pen. Yeah, no, that's why I'm doing stuff we have around the house. Yeah. We're gonna kind of see what we can put together, and and uh, it'll be kind of cool. It's amazing how resourceful you can be when you're like, let's like just see what we can use. Of course. Of course. You know. I remember I had a bunny in kindergarten and I had it for like three days, but it went to the bathroom so much I had to get rid of them and I was so sad. It does. Yeah. They go, it, bunny pee oh, is sorry. the worst pee ever. <laughs> so, good thing, I mean, I've always had tons of animals. I don't know what it's like not to have a ton of animals. Sure. And at one point we were just down to three dogs. I'm like, <gasps> I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I'm craving more animals. <laughs> and, here, and here we are. We'll have a parrot next, I think. If, if Anora has a parrot. No parrots. I have a feeling we will not have That's a, a lot of birds. Oh, yeah. yeah no, another beast. Who's uh, on your lap there? 
This is my jealous boyfriend, Luke. Luke. So boyfriend. He's so <laughs> jealous. He's like, nobody come near my mommy. Thank God they're not allowed on the bed, ish. Bobby's cute. Look at this one. Oh. <laughs> oh, is oh yeah, cute. I like how they come up. They're like, what's up? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? There we go. What's happening? This church up. She looks just like Sean. Yeah, I get the gray beard. Look. Is oh, yeah. magical. Oh my gosh, I love it so yeah. much. That's Lila She actually runs this show, man. Believe it or not. Believe it really? or not. Really? She's got two gimpy legs in the back. They were, you know, everyone's a rescue here. Um, She's drunk. Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> too much cranberry juice. Have you been um, partying it up uh, over the past few weeks? Yeah, a little bit. How about you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd yeah. like to say we were being, you know, we made like a big delivery because we're like, we don't want delivery to come too often. We're trying to keep everything like clean and not go anywhere. So we like stocked up and around this time every day, you're like, I'm like, well, might as well. <laughs> Five o'clock somewhere. I know it's noon here, but no. <laughs> yeah, we're going to to hang out with your family and yeah. your friends and just kind of like see each other. Where you're like, why does it take so long to do this? when right. you're oh, yeah. busy you know yeah i talked to my brother he's in michigan and he he talked about a woodsman and builder or whatever but he built in his garage a whole sort of man cave literally built his own bar sanded it polished it it's got a nice little elbow rest blah 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 and him and his wife go out there after the kids are in bed and they make cocktails cool. and spend oh. time together oh, honey, so you should have put your picture up which one your giant picture of your face that someone painted. Oh, yeah, oh maybe really? Like, the garage, you're, gonna right? to, you're gonna need to pan back. <laughs> it's it's, uh -oh. it's a it's a self portrait this artist from Argentina painted. Cool. Well, it was really 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 cool, but it's like a <laughs> seven by seven. Painting. Put it right above your bed. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's something special. Special. So when you wake up in the morning, you can see him next to you and on the wall. <laughs> like, I was ah. thinking above, like the. Yeah. Oh. Even yeah, better, like, even no, better. I was thinking of being a bugger in the morning too, but it was a different. Now, now, this yeah. is a <laughs> on the ceiling. Ish. On the ceiling with art. Come on, people, keep it clean. <laughs> they went there. Many people went there. I'm only a quarter into my uh, cranberry juice. <laughs> Sean, what, what were you doing for the? I was following you on Instagram, but I never asked. What were you uh, just randomly like? What, what was your travel like? Uh, I felt like you were traveling a bunch. Or what, what yeah, were you yeah. doing with all your travel? Um, yeah, actually, I was, um, or I'm still working on that, uh, traveling to different hotels and resorts and destinations, exploring the people, the culture, and in sharing those experiences with people to get them to get out of their comfort zone and go enjoy some travels. So uh, it's a little difficult at the moment. I know. But, you know, in these, in these times, I've actually been sitting thinking, going, okay, well, great. I, this is what I was doing, but why was I doing it? Mm -hmm. I can still do that course you know i'll be up in the treehouse talking about it in ways that enrich and inspire and entertain to some degree people's lives um i can't really do that on the road at the moment and introduce yeah. them to people who are living their lives with purpose and they want you to come to their island or their destination to go oh my god this is what i do and why i do what i do um so now i'm trying to share that up in the treehouse so we're going to be doing more stuff together um finding people who are, have a sense of purpose in their lives and so that's where I've sort of taken the travel now, but I know moving forward, because I've got so much content from our travels to Hawaii and all the different places we've gone, um, I'll be re revisiting that when mm -hmm. hotels and resorts op open up. Uh, yes. But ultimately yeah. is to get people out there and share life, really. Mm -hmm. do, you, do, you both agree, do, you, do you both think that the, uh, after this whole quarantine and just everything we've gone through as like an, as a, not only a nation, but the world that it's, though we're further apart, it, don't you think in a weird way, it's going to bring everyone closer together? Or what, what's your thoughts on all that? What do you think? Go ahead. No, I, I mean, I think that there's a good majority of us that will do things differently, you know, connect differently. And then there's always, there's a portion, and you know, it's probably like cut in thirds. There's people that will want to go right back to their old ways. There's people that are going to go, wow, I found a new purpose in my life. Um, and then there's another set of people who are going to take life to the next level. 
um, it's really hard to be with yourself. And if you're, if you're single and you're sitting at home by yourself, how difficult that is, because you really, there's a lot of, um, I would imagine a lot of ref reflection or loneliness, and, or if you're younger, you're like, I just want to get out and be with my friends and be social. Um, but then there's those who like will sit and try to find ways of, of meditation. And it does, it does, um, when you soul search, it is, it brings you to a whole different place in your life. So I always highly recommend, even in the smallest ways, trying to, when you wake up in the morning, don't put the TV on, don't put music on, um, and just be and see where it takes you in your life. And this is really sadly kind of forced us to, uh, to try and look at ourselves that way. So I think that, you know, I don't know what the percentage would be, but I, I think there's going to be those different levels of people for sure. People will. I, I think we're already exploring ways to more mm -hmm. communicate more intimately. And just this very conversation sort of speaks to that because mm -hmm. I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. I, though we're using technology to do it. Um, <laughs> I'm not going, Thankfully. oh, Fred, I love you, bro. Yeah, you know, we're going to do that movie. Uh, yeah, next week, man, love you. And tweeting, or I mean, sorry. You or know, talking and texting <clears throat> talking while you're having a conversation. Texting. is. And you're going to, yeah. I, I really hope this to, to be true, and uh, that people will appreciate their, their intimate time a, together and then yeah. the people that they meet. And I think it, the energy will be much more focused in the moment yeah. mm -hmm. when people do, in fact, even the environment, which is what I hope, and that was, that's part of the travel experience, get out of your space explore the world around you and enrich the world within you, right? Mm -hmm. So now that we're sort of not able to go explore the world around us, we get to explore deeper the world within us, but we still get to explore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now when you take the depth of who we are as, as human beings and share that in the world with other people, it, is, it will. I think the world's going to grow exponentially. We will evolve. Yeah. I think it's a deeper conversation, but... We truly will evolve as a human race in the way we appreciate each other mm -hmm. and yeah. respect the differences. Because I tell you this, I mean, there's arguments and people are having conversations about it discriminating to some degree, but this really doesn't. This virus, virus this, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you know, you can talk about, you know, urban cities and then rural cities, of course, by the very nature of how many people live there. But it is, um, we are all in this truly, together you know yep. some, some areas are affected way harder the people in italy and, mm -hmm. and, and of course they're they're having a really different experience but look at the creativity that's come out of some of those experiences that people find a way to dance on their balconies and sing oh, no. you know, to the group it's uh, to me we will have a deeper appreciation um, well, and what's crazy too is when this is all over, we're going to be able to go anywhere in the world and meet anyone in the world, and we've all gone through the same thing. We're going to be able yeah. to have that experience together, and that's that's crazy, you know. Yeah, there's a common denominator. You're absolutely yeah. right. It'll be kind of like you know 9/11. Where were you during 9/11, and what did you do? This will be part of the vernacular in the way we all relate. Yeah around the world not just, not just in your neighborhood yeah. you know or even america um, yeah. it absolutely is a huge common denominator and, and we adapt pardon me what uh no there's a huge common denominator yeah. with humanity that everybody is it's touched their lives to some degree mm -hmm. and they'll be able to, uh, to speak to that and it's crazy how we just adapt as human beings yeah. like we were all kind of weird for a few weeks now we're kind of in the pocket where it's still, yeah. we still have anxiety because there's not enough data out there. We don't really have a, a full plan yet. We're taking it step by step, but we as humans almost adapted. Like even when I was emailing you, Ari, you were like, we, we've been Zooming. Like I, I know Zoom, like we get like, now it's gonna become the normal yeah. thing where people are gonna get together. Why, why hasn't it crossed my mind in 14 years, or even since we've been together in 10 years, that her parents, my parents, her sister are, are uh, her husband why haven't we all got on a zoom yeah a couple of times hour. a year and exactly. have like it's totally. so silly we why? did a date night with his stepdaughter and her fiance we're like okay so we we age? 9 30 it was so cute we did we all had date night on the yeah. couch 
And um, yeah, and again, we met, um, oh my gosh, with my, of course, my brother. And then, um, you know, my ex-husband Kyle comes over on Sundays and we'll, um, uh, we're all friends with my best friend. So we'll Zoom with her and uh, or FaceTime, whichever, you know, whichever's easiest and her family. So we're all, it's just funny how um, we're connecting, you know, in a different way it's 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 and, pretty magical and you're right nobody why what do you mean i mean people thought of it the technology was out there sure. I, people, I know FaceTime. i'm like facetime seems annoying and i'm like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, absolutely. And talk and, absolutely and find my light so i'm not in the darkness or whatever <laughs> but um, oh, yeah. you're absolutely right it will be the new and i'm trying to do do this with my mom yesterday because um, I can cook and catch up with family and friends because it's very mm-hmm. difficult for these people in different time zones. I'm like, I can't cook, then call my brother. I got to either do it. But then when I'm... Because I don't cook anymore. <clears throat> <Yeah. laughs> me too, girl. That's me too. It's so bad. Oh. That or we're ordering in. <laughs> yeah, for real. For real. Yeah. Yeah. I can make a pizza, but I can just turn the oven on. <laughs> It's weird because I don't want to cook. Like, I literally, it's as if I never knew how to. It's sad. It's funny, I don't know how to clean oh. the kitchen anymore either because yeah. she's just like, oh, that's our deal. It's great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Good. I, I do get a little more messy with the pasta sauce and the spaghetti. I'm like, ah, oh, taste yeah. it. And I'm like cleaning above. I'm like, how did this <laughs> yeah. get right here? Or you're literally <laughs> cleaning the window like that. Like, the, yes. where I work is here and the window's over there. And I splattered all and over the And I took the tomato <laughs> so it's not all juicy or whatever. So I'll cut up and squeeze them a little bit. And just ding. And I didn't even. That is, that is Freddy. It's yeah. Yeah. I feel like she, cook. Yeah. Anytime I've seen Sean, though, he's always has finesse. Like, I remember when you used to make your margaritas and stuff. Like, I remember because we were all young and we worked on, on attics together. And yeah, I remember sitting around. I was like, Sean had, like, like you know, uh, a cutting board and limes and knives. And I'm like, I need to like up my game and get some utensils. And like, and now we've finally got, you know, like our our utensils and adults. And and I've always admired Sean's quick work with the knife and making those margaritas. And I can't think of chips and margaritas without thinking of Sean Christian, man. Well, bless you, brother. I don't do anything half fast, man. I'm I'm either all in or nothing. Exactly. It's true. Now my, these, these cucumber jalapenos, the evolution of that uh, has turned into a cucumber jalapeno with not just like uh, salt on the rim, it's tahini on the rim. And now mm. it's just with some pineapple on there. And then now also, right. my dogs. <laughs> that one's growling. Um, yeah. Um, Get a new one. You know, and the garnishes now put a little cilantro in it or give it a little herbaceousness. Ooh, um, yeah. This always, I think. This is a blessing and a curse, but I'll always try to elevate something beyond what it normally is. So sometimes, A, I don't leave enough alone. I'll keep trying to create. Mm-hmm. Just like, and then sometimes just, um, I just go, stop, walk away. <laughs> God, God, here's your margarita. Keep it simple, like, yeah. Like, a jungle. like I need a machete to get into this thing. But yeah, 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 no, I love it. Same with cooking. They, I explore all the time. and. They're like, what is this? I'm like, well, and we love to take things that are um, not necessarily like a leftover or whatever, kind of reimagine it and repurpose mm. it. Yeah. And reheat it and eat it. Not bad. I'm like 80%. I'm batting about 800, no? Uh, pretty <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and Izzy even cooks. Like, I can't even cook her eggs right. She's like, Mom, don't cook my eggs anymore. <laughs> You're like, okay. It's like, I got it. <laughs> the same exact way. No, you're not. I'm like, okay. That's <laughs> kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 They'll do the opposite of what you're like. This is the best thing ever. But they need to do their thing. Are the kids, are they homeschooling at all right now? Or is that you are? Yeah, they're trying to. <clears throat> well, so Izzy is, we're LAUSD. So she's a public charter school. So you know, it took about, she went home with a week's full of homework or a week full of school, or actually two weeks full of schoolwork uh, and, uh, and two projects. Really cool project. Because we didn't know where this was going. So they figured they'd be off a week or two. And then, you know, as we found out, we're staying home longer. And I don't think, I don't, I don't know if they're going to go back to school this year. Uh, but they figured out how to 
Zoom. <laughs> right? <laughs> it was funny because my yeah. oh, poor Miss Patterson, she is gets 24 kids on Zoom mm -hmm. and they're all, they, and you figure the very first class, it's going to be like everyone trying to talk to each other. I mean, imagine this, but 24 little kids. Oh, it's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Sean walks by her room and he's like, all I can hear is, and what did she say? Miss <laughs> Patterson's. The kids are like, oh my God, what have you been doing about it? The kids are like, da, 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 da. all like, talking. Oh my God, I need this. I got this new thing. I bought a pony and I got a da, 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 whatever. Like, <laughs> you, and she gets on, she goes, you kids need to stop talking. I put you all on mute. <laughs> you know, no one can hear anybody oh, but me, the teacher. <laughs> oh, she was she was a little afraid and sweaty too because I think they were trying to figure it out. Yeah. Oh. But we shout out to all the teachers and educators out yes. there, man. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I but can't um, she was just comical. Let's imagine like if she had a classroom, she would shut up. Oh. <laughs> This is no, you're all muted. That must be great. Stop, you need a button it. like that in class. In the classroom. <laughs> in life. <laughs> um, but, um, Why are you so yelling they're, at me? They're yeah. uh, they're figuring it out, and they've got online schooling, and um, it's working. I mean, yeah. it's I think, but we're we're lucky because Izzy's got. I'm sorry, my. Son. If you hear this strange noise, no, they're all good. So sweet and cute. I love because them. Because we adopted this one. So you're coming. This, this was my. Uh, Hanukkah Christmas present. What yeah. yeah, little baby? Can't open her job. For those of uh, those people who follow me, this is Bunny, and I I, um, I volunteer at a place called Animal Hope, Animal Hope and Wellness, Hope. and she has MMS, which is a, like a form of lockjaw. So she's not in any pain, but um, she can't open her mouth. Oh, she wow. can't open it. It's dark. She still barks. How does she open enough to eat, though, obviously? Um, she, look at how mean he is. <laughs> hey. Oh. Luke show. So he's obsessed. <laughs> he won't do anything. Um, no, anyway, so mm. she she can eat pureed food. So she can still lick like a cat. Hmm. Uh, you know, and so we just we just puree it. Well, honey, you know, I don't know if you just puree it. Maybe you want to, if you got a little time, Freddie, let me... Uh, well, Ari could perhaps share with you how she yeah. just purees a little breakfast and or dinner and or, you know, I, I talk about how I cook. Uh, Ari's a making a four course meal. For the dogs. But yeah. I do. I do. I do. Actually, in their bowls, like my poodle, the mini poodle, she, I don't know where she went. She doesn't like to eat anything. Um, I don't want this to get boring, so I'll be quick. Uh, she doesn't like to eat anything mixed. So I lo it looks like something you would serve a human. So she gets a little wet food. A little uh, pureed rice and a little um, of their diet dog food because they're all chubby. And it's literally in three different things, and they like it that way. That is the hey. truth. This is why she doesn't cook. She's burned out by, by oh, the, no, uh, totally. for all the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can relate, though, because Benji has epilepsy, so we give him oh, some oil, Benji. and it's helped so much. But he won't eat it unless it's on, like, a specific piece of meat. And yeah. he gets picky, and I'm like, I got to give it to you and give you new stuff all the time and keep it exciting or else you won't eat your damn medicine. Yeah. <laughs> They're like humans. They're like, I don't like that. I don't want that today. I'm not yeah. yeah. It's unreal. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, what, have you, uh, what have you two been working on? Any, any projects that you can share or want to share or just in general? What's, uh, how's well, the addition or writing? Podcast. You did what? Wait, what? So I started, um, not on camera, but off camera uh, podcast. Uh, I got inspired by some friends. And, uh, you know, there's a bigger picture. But as of right now, it's just, a, it's just a podcast. And it really is about, I mean, I kind of touched upon it a little bit about elevating uh, yourself. And it's called Everything from A to Z. And it's about finding the hero in you. Because mm -hmm. I'm... I remember as a kid, I would, oh my gosh, you know, in, in history class, I fell in love with my Martin Luther King project, thought he was an unbelievable human being, um, uh, JFK, and you, I found all these people like Mother Teresa, and just, who were so unbelievably inspiring, and in in such desperate times, in every era has something that this world has, we all have to work on as human beings, and I feel like sometimes we backtrack, you know, Mother Nature, the light, God, whatever you want to call it, gives us chances tons and tons of times again. I don't, I don't bring a lot of this up, but, um, and it's, it's, 
you know, we move, we have to move with how the world is moving. And so those heroes, we have those heroes. It's just that social media has changed it so much. And so I'm like, okay, but we all have that. We all have the ability to be heroes just because we're not at that supreme level we still can be we can be it just to our immediate family and that's it and we can be heroes to our friends we can be uh mentors to our kids friends um and it can just escalate and just you know spread like a ripple in water to um on 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 any level and i feel like it's so important to just on a on a personal level to find that gift of our selves that we have and so without getting you know too you know spiritual <laughs> um because i want people to enjoy it also about um gosh i really want to i really want to do that better how do i do it because i think that's sometimes the biggest question it's like it's great you have to work on yourself and you have to work really hard every day because we're human beings and we need repetition but it's like sometimes people just we we need to be walked through it like every day I wake up and I, or my day isn't always the same, but I'll the night before I write a list and that list totally changes my day because part of it is take quiet time or my meditation time or quiet time with my animals is huge for me. Um, Oh, or just taking, going for a walk and we don't even talk really on our walks cause that's my time to just, and um, sure. they're so important to start, you know, being comfortable with yourself and finding those amazing qualities that we all, we mm -hmm. all encompass. So that's, you know, a long version of what the podcast is about. So I am, um, I'm really trying to broaden it to, you know, everyday workers and, you know, Sean, Sean, I just released one today with Sean um, because, you know, he's my great friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But my girlfriend Leanne was just on and she's a life coach uh, for um, uh, single parents uh, and uh, my chiropractor, uh, Dr. Robert Gonzalez is going to be on next week and he's amazing and uh, I've got some other, you know, people lined up that are, you know, just real people doing real things and being enlightened and I don't know. I like oh, that sounds That's so good. Where, where, where do we find it? We'll check it out. So uh, I so my my personal website carries different exactly the links you can go to. So you can either go. I'm on Spotify, which okay. is everything from A to Z. Uh, you can just look that up, or you can go to my website at um, what's my full full name arianzucker.com and go to my podcast, and it gives you a little list, and it's like Anchor, um, uh, Breaker, Spotify. Soon I'll be on um, Apple Podcast. Um, they have different like rules in order for you to get yeah. on there. Uh, and yeah, I'm just I'm just exploring that journey and uh, seeing where it goes. I think more than ever, that's the kind of content our world needs, and it's slowly but surely becoming a really big space. So, great job for bringing that. Yeah. Thank you. People need that. I want to listen. I Me think too. it's all. I think this is like the decade of of personal growth and emotional intelligence and people looking within and addressing mental health and finding their purpose i think we were just such in a rat race for yeah. so long yeah. and now especially with all this time to reflect people are using these social platforms to share all of our imperfections our anxieties our triumphs our failures and it's it's just i can feel the the world just growing so that's such a cool topic. Right. I can't wait. And I like the name. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's really yeah. cool. I mean, we, we were even saying just it's, 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 you know, I'm hoping with everything that's, that's going on right now on the positive side, you see how nature has changed that you can see the bottom of the, the Venice river. The Venice river yes. and the skies are bluer yes. and I'm sure our oceans are already better. I mean, yeah. they've got, they're cluttered with plastics, but at least, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if our coral reefs finally just went bling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, thank God. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's there's so much that goes with uh, this, these things that we're talking about that sounds so simple but are so difficult to do, to mm -hmm. do yeah. for everyone. I mean, I always thought as a kid, could you imagine if everyone on the planet picked up a piece of trash <laughs> that you saw it on the ground and threw it in the trash? 
but now we have so much trash we don't know what to do with it <laughs> so yeah. that problem. Yeah. but i mean you know everything escalates to you know it kind of ripples to one thing to the next the next but at least we you know I, okay cut to and when i went to japan it's an unbelievably clean country i don't even see gum on the ground the place is so yeah. clean what i've heard that about what's it's the culture in general it, it ha like i think you could learn from because i heard everyone's so polite every, there's no trash it's like a, a there's not even trash cans i hear like i they, would imagine there's some laws there are trash cans for sure but there, oh, there are, are some okay. laws too that probably come with that because it is a different mm. consequences know. yeah to just yeah um which our consequences just aren't as severe you know um but especially in los angeles with all the theft i mean these guys know that they can steal and they'll be right back on the streets because yeah. you know we made our own laws but not to get political but it's you know it's just you can see the difference yeah. when there are rules and when there are new rules mm. exactly yeah. Well, that's going to be cool. Our, I, I'm, I'm definitely, we'll, we'll check that out. We're always looking for good podcasts. And Thanks, yeah. thanks. Yes, yeah. And if you know of any, let me know because I like to listen and, and learn um, also because it's, uh, I'm always trying to find a way to better myself. Everybody's and, doing it. You know, you don't satisfy everybody, but that's okay. It's this, you never, you can't. So. Have you I, ever heard of impact theory? Uh, no, I haven't. Tom Billion? I have now. Yes, <laughs> that you enjoyed on that topic and just personal growth and looking inside and all that. Okay. Yeah. He's love. the guy who created um, Quest, the company Quest. Quest yes. Wars. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, he, he started a, a show uh, and podcast like three, four years ago, and he has on tons of, of like thought leaders and, and leaders and entrepreneurs and, and experts, artists and yeah. experts. Uh, very very thought provoking. Very thought provoking. It's excellent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's I'll, a good go, I'll listen to that. Yeah. When I'm on the pre court. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah. So, what are you two been up to? We haven't uh, connected in like a couple of months. Well, we it's saw you guys cool. at the grocery store and we're like, we have to get cocktails together and look at us now, guys. Yeah. But <laughs> right? I... Wasn't that like a month and a half ago, right? Yeah. 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 It's crazy. Wait, hold on. To that that we see. Yeah. 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 With our without, without our masks <laughs> on in the grocery store. That was before it all went down, right? Are you guys still going to the grocery store or doing <clears throat> deliveries? Yeah, yeah. We're doing it. We're, yeah, um, I absolutely. wear the gloves and now we wear masks. Um, I go to physical therapy because my, I had a bad riding accident, horse riding accident 13, 14 years ago and it's mm. coming back up and I, I need to go. Sure. Uh, but I'm getting better now, but we're all, you know, masked up and, gloved and they clean like yeah. crazy, but it isn't within the, the parameters of the, okay, the laws right now. So, um, and those are the only two things we're doing. Uh, and then we go out for walks and bike rides, you know. Uh, yeah. You guys see a lot of people when you go out for walks? Because when we tried to walk, it was just packed and it was so stressful. There are so many people out. Yeah, there are a lot of people out. Yeah. You almost have to find the time. I definitely know that between 4.30 and 6 o'clock, everyone starts to come out. Because if you are working or you're working online, you know, parents are in and then they're like, let's get the kids out of the house. True. The dogs or whatever. Yeah, five o'clock, everyone. But if you go before five o'clock. Yeah. The like, kids and I chill. will go out about three, pretty three thirty. And okay. it's still pretty quiet. Yeah. Uh and then yesterday it rained, so Izzy was out riding her bike. I'm like, go have that. <laughs> all the time. And there was nobody out. Yeah. Yeah. So, of course. Yeah. Now she's doing that. I mean, which is good. She wasn't doing that before. Yeah. Well, I think we all have this extra time because we were like, yet again, we were spoiled because we can go out anytime we wanted. But now that it's taken away a little bit, you're like, oh, I'm yeah. going to go outside and go do things. So we've been trying to get a little exercise, but it's just packed about wh where we live. So we've just been chilling at least for the next two weeks. I just feel like yes. once the next two you weeks, know, maybe we'll get some like alleviation of the, maybe the numbers will start going down and yeah. feel a little safer yeah. and everyone will be wearing, you know, masks and but yeah, we've just been watching a lot of Netflix and keeping ourselves busy with the podcast and yeah, yeah. taking this time to just kind of just reflect and try to figure out what our next move is because yeah. now that I've left uh, days, you know, I was already looking for 
goodness. what's the next yeah. chapter yeah. and then when when this all hit um so it's kind of just like what are we going to do and we're also thinking about our families back in ohio and jersey and we've already like been away and missed 15 years of hanging out and our family's starting to have kids now and so we're trying to think okay. like what's the next move so we're kind of taking day by day and seeing if every if every yeah. audition's on tape yeah. Why not go to the East Coast for a few years and be with family and audition on tape and fly in for work and do the podcast from there? Oh my so God, we're doing the same, same thing. Same thing. It is the same thing. Yeah. People are going. You don't. And you don't need no disrespect to LA, New York, and any of these major metropolitan cities. But you should go where your heart takes you. What makes you feel alive? Yeah. But what makes you feel good? Especially yeah. when it comes to family. And you're right. You do these Zoom chats. You're like. I don't even know my brother's kids anymore. So yeah. You know what I mean? Like I don't have it. I don't go to their hockey games. And yeah. you just, you know, you just got all conference and just different. You're like, what, what am I, what am I doing? Do I have to be right here right. to find fulfillment, joy, love, mm -hmm. and happiness in my life? Do I? And I think in these, these circumstances, yeah, but it'll be interesting to see how people, uh, whether they move or gravitate closer to each other or mm -hmm. now that we have technology, you can kind of bring them in. But uh, people are going to make a lot of different changes, I think. It's like the old days when our parents were together. You you move yeah. right next door to your parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. You used to do. Yeah. <laughs> Moving away. Uh, what? No. Oh, my God, yeah. So, so if you guys oh. ever left L.A., where would you go? Is that an idea? Uh, Lake Tahoe is a place we are looking at. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Is, uh, yes, because it's so it's so close to Sacramento. It's seven hours from my brother, and you know we we like to drive and go, and I uh, I really um, want to get a Sprinter. <laughs> Not that we can afford one, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy, they're cool. Hashtag yeah. <laughs> Sprinter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right? You're back oh, out there. Yes. It's in nature, man. There's mountains and lakes, and we just grew up oh, in the lake with lake life. love it. And, just, you know, so islands, mountains, beaches. Yeah. You know, yeah. those things are the things that appeal to us. And very oh, real, very plausible. There's things we're looking at, and we'll see where the world takes us. Mm -hmm. You know, live in, the, live in the mountains in the, the, the winter and... Mm -hmm. Summers by the ocean or flip it, who cares? You know, just yeah. you know, make yeah. it up as you go. Yeah, I mean, for the things you pay for in LA, you could have both. Very oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's I, mean, not a, <laughs> I mean, I'm not exaggerating, but that's yeah. the truth. I mean, you know, of course we had to be here before. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, unless you're in a major <laughs> studio, half these productions are like, we can't afford to shoot here sometimes. I mean, like now they're like, let's. Well, yeah. Let's go shoot somewhere where it's picturesque, yeah. beautiful, and hasn't been overshot, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting transition because L.A., and even, too, like, the more success you have, the more you start realizing what state tax is. And you go, oh, wow, this is very expensive here. And there's places like Florida with none. And um, But for us, it was uh, – Oh, Nevada side or California side? You go to Nevada. Yeah, we're going to Nevada. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of uh, – just like that. Like, it's more practical and – um, and for me, I think the, the final like straw was, um, was the kids being born in the family and they don't know us. Yeah. And the, the other thing we lost, um, about four people, yeah, four very, very close uh, family members in the past 18 months. And when we were, were there with the family, I just realized like everything that I was mourning was these like weeks that I spent there over the past 14 years of like moments or all the memories from when I was growing up, but I didn't know them. I've been a different person from 18 to 32 years old. And I lost all those like experiences and moments with those people where they didn't really get to know me and I didn't get to know them as I've grown as a person. And I just realized that. And I was like, mm. I, all my memories are from when I was 18 and younger because I'm only stopping home every now and then. And I was like, it's just time. It's time to do it. We just don't know what it looks like. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, do we go to Ohio or Jersey? Like, what does that look like? Like, I don't know. And I'm glad we don't have to make a decision today, but we're, we're definitely wanting to get out for a while. I just don't know what it looks like. So we're just kind of taking it day by day and seeing what, where the world will take us. Like you said, Sean, like just follow our heart and see what makes sense. What will the world look like in a year after this all clears up and you know, what's the new normal and, 
what's the industry going to do because and what's it going to cost yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. i laugh but yeah. oh. But that's the first step, man. It just, you, you literally imagine what that, and you guys have, it sounds like you guys are having great conversations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're literally imagining, okay, okay, if we're in Ohio or we're in Florida or wherever, like, and, and I'm just, I'll challenge you to do it, man. Just, just sit with your cocktails and go, how does that feel like? You know what I think it is, you know, with being in this business, like, I think your ego kind of keeps you here. Like, like, I don't know, like, if you leave LA, like, you failed. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, you just, you know, it's not mm -hmm. the same world anymore. It's true. So, I mean, you you talk to so many people, like Missy and Scott, and you know a couple of friends from GH I have that don't even live here, and you're like, I'm so happy for you. I have a couple a set of friends just like literally packed up and left, and they didn't tell anybody, and they went to Florida, and I'm like, I'm that is so cool. Yeah. It's good for you for taking that leap because I know that's a leap that we've been talking about, and there's no ego, no they did what was right for their family yeah. you know yeah. i think that is so admirable and i think it's how to apply the skill because for me yeah. the skill set i've built since for 14 years you also have to look at it and go that's the skill i've built and if i go to ohio what am i going to do with that actual skill that's valuable that can make me a living but now that social media is here doing podcasts doing our own videos is using that talent and still being able to make a career out of it. And, and right now I wouldn't even know where you are if, you, if we didn't know where you, you know, where you live. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, sure. right here, like you wouldn't know if we were in Tahoe or if we no. were in Oh, yeah. And it wouldn't matter. Or in Bali. Or in Bali. <laughs> yeah. You gotta put the yeah. picture of yourself, Sean, in the background. Definitely. You want that? I'll get that before we, uh, we yeah. sign off. We'll, gonna, that, we'll replace it with this. You're uh, gonna appreciate it. Piece right <laughs> yeah. You yeah, had it, man. Just keep doing. You guys, I swear, remember having this conversation. We'll be in Tahoe, and you're going to be in wherever you want to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I feel like this is. And I'm, I'm so happy that you both wanted to hop on and, and kick it with us because it's, it's. You know, you two have been just so amazing in our lives all these years. It's been just a crazy 14 years out here, and <laughs> and you two are always people I think of that are just always been kind and uh, and I just knew this would be so easy and fun. You know, just like the relationship we have built, seamless, man. Yeah. Seamless, and yeah. so I just One want to let you know. No, it's, just, yeah. it's my favorite yeah, part. But... So I just appreciate your friendships. It means the world to us that you've always been so kind, and um, and it means a lot. And we we just wish you all the best in everything. And I want to check out your podcast and Sean. Anything you're doing, I'm always following it, man. And I just. Yeah. You'll see a show soon. Alive with purpose. You'll see it, man. I'm just doing the videos right now. I love it. Editing the mother, but do but do. Um, and that's essentially it, man. I want people to be living their true purpose. Everyone has a gift out there, man. And finding it is hard. That's why I'm having this conversation. And Ari's right. I wouldn't I won't stop talking about it. But when I see somebody who's like, you're on the cusp of like, I don't know what I exactly want to do, but you you want to do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's that follow your heart, your passion, your whole thing. I'm, um, but there'll be a show. I'm putting. Yeah. And don't happy. let whatever that I'm is not. pass you by, because there is no right time. Yeah. Well, it let me show you a big promotion for that thing while you guys talk. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. yes. Tag at the end of our conversation. You're like, uh, that sounded like a, you know, an, a fart. Honey. That's what that sounded like. Did, huh? <laughs> You're gonna have to back it up. Oh, you forgot the eyes, hold. My goodness. Yeah. Wow. Nice. <laughs> That's insane. All right, right, let's move the plant, babe. <laughs> Let me give you a little of that. Yeah, I love you, buddy. This is amazing. Know how I feel about you. <laughs> oh, my oh, yeah. God. Uh, oh. I mean, it should have been there the whole time, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> I think we're on to something, babe. I think we just found the backdrop to the new show. Right in Lake Tahoe. Boom. It is amazing. Yeah. They did a great Wait. job, though. I mean, it's really, it's really well done. It's um, got a Fight Club vibe to it. I was thinking it. that. Yeah, I think it was done during the Fight Club uh, time, by the way. Huh. It's an Argentinian artist who paints this in this yeah. style. Like, it's her style, right? Like, and I go, and she's like, can I send you a painting? I'm like, yeah, and it came in this crate. Um, and I was like, what? 
um, you know, I begged. But what, 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 do you, what do you do in this? Well, I don't know what I, what do you do with that? Well, we're going to get a shed and a barn. <laughs> good, good dirt we're going to make a barn house party house. And that's where that's going. And I remember you guys have a really great backyard where you live now. Didn't you build something, Sean? Yeah, right? I, uh, well, I didn't. Let's be clear. Um, I designed <laughs> it. Oh, you designed it. I have a degree in uh, architecture, so I won't get great. I studied architecture, Got so um, I was like, we need a, a use of space, cut to, let's make sort of this treehouse palapa in this area above the pool equipment, I enough so to breathe, da, da 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 and then also another area that's really super hot, let's make a palapa there and a place to have like outdoor dinner and make a concrete, well, what I'm making, you know, get a concrete slab and just, we'll have dinner out there, she got this beautiful, you know, her and her crystals, got this beautiful crystal chandelier. We got wall sconces. And, um, so we got different little places to go, but we have a little treehouse palapa um, hut, which is where I'm doing most of my interviews right now anyway. Yeah, and now we have a, a, a bunny run and a guinea pig house for the outdoors. <laughs> Obsessed. You're like camouflage. You're like, animals on there? Like, oh. <laughs> I'm going to do it just like the margaritas, man. I'm going to up the game. I'm going to make it. The thing's going to be a fat screw to lop a perfect. It's a great idea. Um, now we're working together. That's going down. Uh oh. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> no. It'll work. The juices are flowing. Right. Oh, don't even get me started. My brain is, that's the other thing about being like in a certain space. Uh, I clearly I'm like I am a creative person and I, I gotta turn it off those times I'm like dude shut oh, yeah. it down <laughs> he'll be up till like 3 30 in the morning or four hours a week, I'm doing four up at like uh seven and then the other night 2 30 up at you know seven I don't know how he does it I need like nine hours I love right. my sleep just so you look like this I mean like this <laughs> yeah it's just trying to turn it off. There's days I'll lay in bed and I'm like, I should have just got out and wrote all this down because yeah. I'm already up. And, but then certain nights I've been sleeping though, without the anxiety of waking up to an alarm has been very unique and interesting. Mm -hmm. Like we've been doing yeah. all of our podcasts and everything like after noon and, yeah. and on. So we just go to bed and you just wake up and it's kind of a. Is a your schedule time. changed? Are you, I mean, other than, so you're not getting up clearly. You guys up at like 10 now and going to bed at midnight or what's the yeah, yeah that's pretty much it it's like yeah we're going to bed between midnight and two sleeping until like nine or ten and then still <laughs> doing our whole day like because we don't go out or we don't do anything so now we're just enjoying that uh you know we still have a schedule in the afternoon but in the mornings and nights it's just a free-for-all of coffee and breakfast and at night watching movies and coming up with ideas and and then we do yeah. like a good yeah. four to five six hours of work during the day to feel fulfilled move our podcast forward and yeah and so it's a good balance you know you guys have office hours for that so to speak do you go look babe let's get like a time excuse me she and i will go okay look at this hour we just need to because both of us will be running around if we don't schedule a meeting a business meeting it won't get done do you guys do a that meeting like, it's crazy i'm like why are we in the bedroom right now babe? It's what kind of meeting? Like, <laughs> sean yeah anytime sean scheduled it it's oh, is this on still? yeah no, I'm, I'm really big on schedule, but because we're, I feel like we're always kind of talking and working that things will happen as they happen. But when it comes to the podcast, we really do try and sit yeah. and brainstorm and work. How many do you do a week? Right now we're doing uh, three a week, but wow. for the longest time we used to do uh, like one, like because uh, this, this April, April 24th is going to be our two year anniversary of the show. So we used to do them like, wow. yeah, so we used to do them like one, I think this is episode like 89 or something. So hey. we been doing Cheers, right. man. Wait a minute. Hold Cheers. Hey, yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Um, That's awesome. We used to do like one a week and then we take like a month off and we kind of were just dipping our toe. And then yeah. over the past six months, we've really started ratcheting it up. And then, um, so we've been doing two to three a week. And now with quarantine, we're like, let's just do a solid three a week. And, uh, so and we're cool. starting to find our groove. Like we, we had to find our voice and yeah. now the zooms are different, but they're, they're also like, we'll film like at the beginning of like, we'll save this whole video we're doing, but then Alyssa and I will film like a five, six minute intro 
um, like on the actual cameras in our studio of like introducing it and then kind of chit chatting. And then we bring you on or whoever our guest is to kind of give people the, to show them what our, our podcast is like when it's just yeah, us that's too. Cool. So that's it's just a cool. special. Sorry, baby. What I discovered is this does a little bit of the editing. You're going to Oh, it's yeah. ideal. I mean, I have to say that worked out supremo for an interview I'd done, but are you going to chop this up too then, yeah? Because you're just talking like, holy cow, this is going to be huge. Well, we'll put it, no, we'll put the whole thing up um, unless we said something that we wanted to edit out, but we've been good uh, this, this time. Every now and then we edit <laughs> some stuff out, but that's the beauty of not doing it live is that we're able to, if someone misspeaks or you say something you didn't want to, we can edit it. But uh, no, the Zoom portion, I'll, I'll edit me and Alyssa talking back and forth for five to 10 minutes. And then I'll say, all right, we're going to get Sean and Ari on the Zoom. And then we'll just cut to the pre-edited Zoom video. Um, yeah, which is great. That's, that's new. You're, you're our fourth Zoom interview that we did because we've had people at the studio or we've just done it with Alyssa and I many episodes where we just talk back and forth. But I yeah. love the Zoom because it's convenient. Right. You don't have to like, have, yeah. it, it'd probably be harder if you two had to come here, even if there was no quarantine. It's easier it's to kind of connect through Zoom than having people come and here and drive. this and amazing park. studio. Right? And then we both got the background, <laughs> yeah. That dimple right there. <laughs> but no, I love it. That picture's dope. That is crazy. kind of needs to happen there, guys. <laughs> you better edit that part. See, Lila's, you upset the dogs. <laughs> I mean, it's colorful, it's bright. Sure it is. We could, I, see, we, I see a little green in there, too. It'll go. It match, the yeah, we could put it actually on this wall over here and it could overlook the whole studio. It'd be great. Oh, yeah. see? <laughs> right, you're just going to take you back to those margaritas and chips all day long, man. So great. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. I became more of a tequila guy the past two years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was a vodka better. dude forever, but tequila yeah. Kills what's up. is amazing. Easier on your body, too. So good. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an upper for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still slinging tequila, too, man. <laughs> you want a good, good bottle, man. The bad stuff, I got it. <laughs> Not cheap. I'm trying it's to get so my hands. Yeah. It's good, too. It's literally called the bad stuff. Oh, you know it, no? Do you know about it or no? No. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Coming back for part two. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be two Zoom segments with you, <laughs> two podcasts for you. Okay, the one with Sean's picture and the one without. <laughs> no, no. But you know, there's a color schematic that's happening in both. both, both Let me go change now. real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I'm a brand ambassador to um, an extra añejo, which is luxury tequila. Mm -hmm. not, not cheap, but it's artisanal top to bottom, and it is a sipping tequila so called good. The Bad Stuff, and it is amazing. Our distiller is a revered tequilero, a master catador, if you will. Say that again. Uh, a master tequilero. Ooh! Catador. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. I don't know, I'm learning I like real it. quick. Um, but it is unbelievable. Everything down to the, the even the label is made out of pressed agave paper. Huh. I mean, the bottles, recycled glass, the the way everything is produced with the tajon and the way it goes around. Um, I mean, it's really an amazing opera because our distiller is a uh, conservationist by heart. So that's his background. And he's just like a 76 year old badass. And this guy's seen it all, done it all. Uh, drank tequila with Don, um, Don Julio in the, in the fields. And oh, wow. wow. Amazing story, but he's a good man. So that's how it sort of started. I met with him because um, we were talking about, I was talking about doing a travel show and I heard he had some great exploits. So we sat down and talked at his place and um, crazy. It's like a museum in his house of stuff he's either crafted or built or people he met on the road. Um, but I loved his energy, his vibe. And he's a very sincere man, and what he makes comes from his heart. I mean, he has other mestals, and but his thumbprint is on a lot of tequilas out there. So I said, listen, man, is there anything I can do to help you get the word out of what you do and what you love to do? Which, when you when I find somebody has a passion with a purpose, I'm like, Whoosh, how can yeah. I share with the world what you do? Um, yeah. And that's how it sort of uh, began. And now I'm part owner in it, thankfully, which is great. Wow. Um, yeah, and they're just getting your hands on a lot of the bottles because it is artisanal small batch. 
but okay. we're gonna have the coming out. And if anybody, if you need some, let me know, and I'll. Uh, I would love. To, I was just going to ask you. Yeah, can you order it online, or how do you get it? Um, you can order it online. Uh, strange enough, um, through love. It's one of the, I'm going to say Love Scotch, which is bizarre because we're self distributed right now. We had a couple of different distributors. They were wine distributors, but um, they were more interested in wine, and I think they just wanted tequila as part of their portfolio, and then didn't really push the tequila. So then we now went back to self distribution and okay. uh, distributor. So basically, I can't personally sell it, but you can certainly reach out to me. I can get it, have it shipped legally um, through the proper distribution channels, depending on where oh. you live in the country. Because uh, there's certain places that can't cross state lines without certain um, yeah. orders. I mean, unless I'm shipping olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> well, we would love some olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> we love olive oil. Well, I know there's big orders of olive oil coming taste, out. Taste test the olive oil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My favorite. I think, it's, I think it's lovescotch.com. You might be able to order the bad stuff. Um, okay. But I can try and get some discounts and uh, the people I know or whatever. But yeah, let Super me know. Cool. Uh, awesome, brother. Too, man, everybody's doing their thing. It's crazy. Heck yeah. Well, I I, uh, I appreciate you both. I don't want to keep you. I know we've talked a little way longer than we uh, anticipated, oh. but you're just you knew that was going to have to talk to. You. So, um, just thank you so much for for kicking with us for almost an hour. I know that uh, everyone's going to love to to kind of be a little fly on the wall to this conversation, and we'll have it out in a few days. So, uh, we just thank you both so yeah, much, and then let's you. let's connect in like a few weeks, and and you know see where yeah. everything's at, and. Uh, see if our plans have moved towards Ohio and Lake Tahoe by then. <laughs> oh, I know. Let's do it. I mean, literally, even just catch up. This is the, it'll be this simple, man. Yeah, definitely. Hey, you got, let's get on a chat tonight. You know, we're having a, we're making dinner exactly. or something. Exactly. It'll be really cool. It'll be really easy, man. Love it. We're there. Like that, man, I'd love to do. Perfect. Well, thank you again, and enjoy your night, and uh, enjoy thank your you. drinks. Nice to see you. Yes, great to see you both, man. Yeah. Aloha. Aloha.